How's it going, everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and welcome to another review of Pokemon Twilight Wings. I'm going to be talking about Episode 2, which aired today, which involves Gym Leader B going out to do some training after suffering a loss against Leon in the previous episode. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this episode. It's a very short episode, but overall, it was very enjoyable, and I gotta say, B is Bay, that's for sure. Let it be known. <laughs> Anywho, if you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, on to the review. Now the focus of this episode is B, who just lost pretty badly to Leon in a very small segment in episode 1, which was just shown on TV, in which Leon basically destroyed B. And this episode is basically the aftermath of that battle, and you can tell that B definitely did not take that loss very well. She requests time off from her gym so she can go to the wild area to do some training following her defeat. And throughout this episode, it's very interesting because it shows how determined B is to get stronger, but it also shows that she's also very impatient and reckless as a result of wanting to get better and defeat Leon eventually. There's several examples throughout this episode. For example, as she's heading to the wild area in the Corviknight taxi, she basically jumps out of it in the middle of a sandstorm and ends up losing her phone in the process, leaving it back in the, the taxi and showing her recklessness and impatience <laughs> in one go right here. Now, I think we can all agree to all the people that watch this episode that the training segments on this episode were awesome. We had B training with her Pokemon, which consists of a Machop, Machoke, and a Machamp in which they're running around doing exercises throughout the wild area, including doing push-ups with rock behind her back, and I think B's only doing it one-handed. And not only that, she's actually sparring with Machamp at one point, which is awesome. Why don't we see that more often? Because I want to see that. <laughs> but anyways, um, while she's training with Machamp, she actually gets injured while fighting him and seemingly possibly breaks her a bone in her arm. So that puts a little bit of a damper on the training. Now, even though B potentially has a bone fracture in her arm, she insists on continuing her training and requests a spar with Machamp again, who really doesn't want to spar with B anymore out of concern for her arm. But before they can do anything, the cave they're in begins to cave in, almost crushing them, and they're pretty much trapped in the cave now. And B tries to call for him, you know, for help because they can't get out. And then that's when she realizes that she lost her phone and realizes that she left it on the taxi because of her own impatience and recklessness. So she actually begins to reflect and realize she runs off and realizes that what she's doing is wrong and she's kind of being a little self-centered and not really taking, you know, concern for her own Pokemon or for her own well-being. Now I really like the next scene where B basically goes back and apologizes to her Pokemon basically saying that, hey, you know, if I continue down this path, not only will I not be able to defeat Leon, but any other trainer that challenges me. She begins to realize what she's been doing ever since her loss against Leon and the impact it's been having on her Pokemon and herself. But it doesn't matter because her Pokemon still care about her. And Machop here offers her what I assume to be a protein bar, which looks pretty good. But they end up actually finding a way out and despite almost getting crushed, her Pokemon jump to her side, and B and her Pokemon are able to escape the cave. And conveniently, the Corviknight taxi shows up with her phone. I'm not really sure how he was able to find her, but he was actually looking around for her all over the place, but couldn't find her. And she had to make the excuse up that, oh yeah, I was just in the cave because we wanted to avoid the rain. <laughs> and the episode ends with, uh, Hop showing up with his Wooloo, so I'm guessing the next episode will feature Hop. Now again, the definite highlight in this episode was B and her characterization, and showing what happened after she lost her match with Leon in the previous episode, and I liked how it was portrayed throughout. And like I mentioned, she is very impatient, very reckless, and a little self-centered, basically trying to just go as fast as possible in order to get to Leon. There's actually one point in the episode where during her training, she actually thinks she sees Leon, but actually is a Rhydon, which shows how much her loss against Leon affected her, as it's basically plaguing her mind. 
And I do like how she turns around. I do think it's a little plot convenient that she did that so quickly because these episodes aren't very long. But overall, I thought it was handled pretty well. Not only that, I think that the animation in this episode was fantastic throughout. Especially like the animation that was done when she was sparring with Machamp. That was actually really nice to look at. My only issues with this episode are with some of the plot convenience in the episode and the length of the episode. I actually think this series should be longer. With this only being seven episodes, I kind of wish these episodes were more like 10 minutes as I feel like they could flesh out the characters being portrayed a little bit more. Since it's only five minutes, it's really hard to get attached to a lot of these characters. I do think this episode did a really good job with B, and I really sympathize with her a little bit, but I do feel it could have been a little bit longer because it felt like she did come around a little bit too fast. Also, the taxi being right there at the right time when her and her Pokemon escaped from the cave. It's a little bit too convenient in my opinion. But yeah, overall, this was still a pretty good episode. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So guys out there, what did you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later.